Okay, so we're recording this. So for those of you guys who have people on your team that really wanted to be here tonight, for whatever reason couldn't be here, or if you're tuning in, um, you're getting in after we get started, it will be recorded. Okay, and uh, they will put it up on the Team Z Facebook page tomorrow, the link to the playback. So my name is Eric Johnson. Welcome to the webinar tonight. I'm really excited to have you guys here. Um, just to introduce myself, I am uh, the founder of Team Z. And by founder, I guess, I guess you can call me founder. I mean, it was a sketch in a notebook and some really smart guys made it happen. Okay, so I'm really excited to show it to you tonight and show you how you can really leverage it to have your best power hour ever. One thing I do want you guys to know before we get started is that just like you, I'm a Beachbody coach, a working Beachbody coach, which means in order to be compliant with Beachbody's policies, I don't receive any compensation from Team Z. Okay, so I want everyone to know that up front, Team Z is its own entity, um, and I don't receive anything from it when you guys use it. Okay, but I am really excited to show it to you. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna just jump right into the app. We're not gonna spend a lot of time going through um, concepts and philosophies tonight. I'm just gonna show you how to get it set up, how to just destroy your power hour, and how to use the follow-up feature. Then I'm gonna open it up to quick Q&A. So as you guys have questions throughout the presentation, write them in the Q&A um, form that's on your screen. Or if you already have questions, you're already using it and you have questions, go ahead and put those on too. I will answer all the questions that you guys give. Okay, so I'll stay in as long as, as long as it takes to answer all the questions. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So now you guys are actually looking at my Teensy dashboard, okay? This is what your dashboard's gonna look like if you're not already using it. Before I even start, I want you guys to know that you can get a free 30-day trial at teensy.com. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already did that, but if not, go to teensy.com and start a free 30-day trial. Okay, so when you first come in here, you're gonna set it up. The setup is really easy, and if for any reason you guys got caught up on the setup, I'm just gonna breeze through it really fast, um, and maybe I will identify whatever it is that was your, was your hangup. The first time you come in, you're gonna be inside a setup wizard, and this is designed to make this super easy for you guys, okay? The whole setup can happen in about 15 minutes, maybe even less, uh, depending on how good you are with this. Okay, so what this process is going to do is it's going to help you set an income goal, okay? And what's really cool about this is Teamsy will take that income goal and reverse engineer it, tell you what to do every day in order to hit it, which is pretty awesome. The next thing you'll do is create a powerful why so that you'll remember what you're working for and then get all your contacts imported into Teamsy and get them ranked so that Teamsy can tell you how often to contact them, okay? There's little videos on every page that you can watch um, when you do this yourself. So the first thing we'll do is set our income goal, okay? And I'm, it says right here on the screen, it's okay to dream here. Here's what I will tell you guys. Once you start using Teamsy, you'll be so much more efficient than you ever were. When you do your power hours, first of all, they'll very rarely take you an hour. When you do your power hours, you'll be so efficient. So set your goal high, higher than you think you can do, because you'll be able to manage a lot more communication now that you have this system. Um, in your back pocket. Okay, so I set my goal for 150,000. That's the income level I'd like to be 12 months from now. I'm using Team Z, you know, most days a week. Okay, so I'm gonna go go ahead and click continue. And so now it says they've crunched the numbers to accomplish this income. I'd have to complete a total of 4,348 connects. 4,348 connects seems like a lot. But um, I'll show you how they break it down. Now, what is a connect, you may ask? A connect, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a minute. But it's simply just reaching out and saying hello, connecting with someone. It's not an invite, a cold invite, anything like that necessarily. It's just reaching out, connecting with someone. Okay, let's go to the next page. Here's the breakdown, guys. So Teams has given me kind of a recipe for success. They've recommended that I connect 2,174 times with my prospects, 1,304 times with my customers, 870 times with coaches on my team. Great, and then it'll break it down by month, by week. And finally, it gives me a daily breakdown, something that I can focus on. Now here's an important principle I want you guys to write down and remember. If you keep your focus small, you can grow your business big. If you keep your focus small, you can grow your business big. What do I mean by that? I mean, you gotta be focused on just Winning today, just what do I need to do today to be successful in my business? In this case, Team Z has made a recommendation that I do nine connects with prospects, 
six with customers, four with coaches, three invites, and three ads. Okay, so that's the recipe that they have suggested. I want you guys to know that you can customize these. If you just overwrite it, you can customize them, okay? So if, you have, if you're a newer coach and you've got a smaller team, you might wanna make, for example, the amount of coaches you reach out smaller and make your prospect number bigger, okay? So you can customize these to whatever you want, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and continue and it set those goals. Those goals are now set on my dashboard. The next step to setting it up is setting up your why, okay? Now I'm gonna explain to you guys what this is and I'm also gonna identify a spot where a lot of people get hung up on this. So finding your why, there's a little video here, it's from me. You get it live, so it's all good. All good. But you need to know why you became a coach. Honestly, if you can't answer that question in a meaningful way, you're more likely to quit than you are to be successful. Because life wants us to quit. I mean, it's hard, right? There's days you don't feel like doing this. You're gonna hit setbacks. You're gonna be frustrated. There's gonna be months where you're just, you know, not that engaged. So you need to have a why that's stronger than that. That's stronger than the challenges that are gonna hit you, okay? And so what they did, what the TMD team did was they put this journaling exercise right in the setup wizard to help you clarify your thinking so that you can get to that crystallized why statement, okay? And once you have it, it's gonna be on your dashboard. So every day when you log into Teams, you read your why. Before you make your connects, before you reach out and invite people, you read your why. You remind yourself why you're gonna spend the next 25, 30 minutes doing your power hour. Isn't that cool that you can do a power hour in 25, 30 minutes? Okay, I'll show you how that works. So why'd you become a coach? Answer the question. This is just for you guys. What did you hope to accomplish by doing that? Why is that? Why is accomplishing that important to you, right? What would achieving that mean to you and your family? Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? Now, when you get through all these guys, you have to fill in the last box. I just want you guys to know that. You have to actually fill in the last box. This is the box that saves to your dashboard. So when you write your why here, you continue, it will save it to your dashboard, okay? So you can see, this is my why, to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family. I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and full of energy. So just so you guys know, I started this whole process as a coach because um, I had lost a bunch of weight using Beachbody products. People were asking me what I was doing. I saw an opportunity to make a few hundred bucks extra income. After a while, I saw the opportunity and I realized that not only could I make a few extra bucks, but I could create a life without worrying for money that I could actually be present with my kids because in my career, I was never with my kids. I was always commuting, working, or traveling. And not only that, I got to be healthy, full of energy because being healthy is actually part of our job. How cool is that? So there's my why. What's yours? Get your why, figure it out, put it in here. Now, here's the other thing that's cool. Your why may change over time, and that's great. You can always come back here and edit it. All right, so when I continue that, it'll paste that on my dashboard. The last step to set up, guys, is to get your contacts loaded into Teamsy. This part's pretty easy. The first way is, if you're using a contact management system or a CRM, uh, you know, contact relationship management system, if you want to know what the letters stand for, um, or Gmail or Yahoo Contacts or anything like that, and you want to get all those people into your list in Teamsy, what you need to do is import it as a .csv file. .csv is just a file type that these computers use to talk to each other. Okay, one thing to let you guys know, if you're like, well, how do I get it from, from Gmail? Just Google it, guys, just Google it. How do I get my Gmail contacts into a .csv and you'll get the instructions? Google is amazing that way. Um, it's really easy, there's a video there on how to do it. Okay, next we wanna get all your Facebook friends imported into Teamsy, okay? And this is one of the parts that I love best about Teams is that you can actually take all those Facebook contacts that you've spent all that time developing and you can, you can work them in a systemized way. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is pretty simple. A couple of little points on this, guys. There's a video here, but a couple of little points where people get hung up on this. When you get your archive download from Facebook, it's a zipped folder, a zipped folder. Okay, for those of you who don't know what a zipped folder is, that's just a way computers compress files so they can email them to, to you. Before you can upload that, you have to unzip it. So, the, so all you have to do, guys, is you save that folder to your, to your desktop and you open it and it'll unzip. Okay, and then you can find the files inside that it asks for the, the friends.htm file, which is your friends list. 
that you imported the teams in. Just want you guys to know that. I know it's in the FAQs. So many people get hung up on that and frustrated because they didn't unzip that folder. So I want you guys to do that. Okay. And then of course you're going to get your contacts from the coach online office, your coach list and your customer list, right? And import those in. And for those of you who have a large team, you're going to want to do an advanced search for coaches and figure out how many levels deep you wish to import into teams. Okay. For those of you guys who are just starting out, you can grab the whole list and go for it. Okay. The cool thing is Teamsy will know if it's a customer list or a coach list and put them in the right group inside the software, which is pretty awesome. All right. So once you've done that guys, and you've actually done it, it's going to look like this. I'll show you the page. It's really easy. Now you just look for your file. Boom. And you upload your file. Okay. It's that simple. And then Teamsy does the rest. All right. Once you've got your files imported, you're going to do, you're going to rank your contacts. That's the last step of setup, the last step of setup. And guys, you do not want to skip this step. Okay. Let me explain what I mean. You're going to be in rank mode. I'm going to toggle this so you can see what it looks like. And everything's purple because now it's set up so that I can jam through here and rate people on a scale of one to five, right? Five stars is awesome. One star is not so awesome. In fact, I need to actually take Lucy down to two stars, so it's perfect. So there's an example, right? You're just going to go through your list and give them a, just from the gut, just a quick rank. Just so you know, everybody's going to start out as a three, which is perfect because you can leave most people as three, and what you're looking for are the people who you want to promote to a four or five or people you want to demote to a two. So let me explain to you what these actual rankings mean. I'm going to open it up right here. Boom. A five star. Now. These stars actually mean something for the software. A five-star person is going to show up on your dashboard every 30 days, and you're going to get a prompt to say hello, just to connect, just to touch base with them, okay? Five-star is somebody that's most likely to become a customer or coach, right? Or it's an existing customer or coach that's a total rock star. A four-star person. This is somebody that you feel is likely, likely to become a customer or coach with a little nurturing, okay? Or maybe it's an existing customer or coach who's a consistent performer. These are your warm, warm people, okay? Three stars are kind of, it's just kind of your lukewarm. You don't know, right? They might become a customer or coach. They might not. They might be a customer who occasionally interacts, whatever. They're just kind of there, okay? Those are your three stars. And you're going to get a prompt to talk to them every 90 days. Probably the majority of people on your list will be a three star. A two star is somebody who may or may not become a customer in the future. They're a little bit more cold. Okay. You really don't have a strong relationship yet, but you're hoping you can develop it over time. See the goal here guys is that people will grow from two to three to four to five stars, right? Over time, this system is going to help you nurture those relationships and a one star. These are your frozen leads. They're the ones you don't want to market to. You want them on your list. You want to be able to look them up and have their contact info but you're not actually reaching out to them on a regular basis, okay, for whatever reason. Okay, so that's how you rank them. Now, let me just explain to you guys why this is such an important step to do because some of you are thinking, oh, he's not. I have 2,000 people on my Facebook list, and I don't want to go through and have to rank them all. Guys, it's really important concept here because if you don't prioritize your relationships, you cannot prioritize your time. Okay, this is the important principle. If you don't prioritize your relationships, you cannot prioritize your time. And Teams is going to help you stay in touch with everybody. But there's no way you can do that if you're not prioritizing some relationships better than others. See, here's the thing. You need to spend the most time with the best people. Your family needs to come first, your loved ones, your, your best prospects, your best coaches, your best customers deserve the first fruits of your time. What happens if you don't set that priority? Other people steal the time. The turkeys steal the time. The annoying people take your time. Isn't that the truth, right? The squeaky wheel gets the oil. You've heard that a million times. Not in this system. In this system, your best people get the oil. That's who you're gonna invest time in. Because guys, here's the truth. The only way you can deepen a relationship is by investing time. Connecting with people, investing time. That's the only way to deepen a relationship. I always love to tell this example because I think it's such a great example. But when you get a beautiful handwritten note card from somebody that they've taken time to write you a message in, you value that. 
it, you keep it. I mean, people have boxes of these things under their bed. They've saved for years. Meanwhile, you get a postcard from the dentist. They, they misspelled your name, right? It doesn't mean anything. Why? It took no time. Somebody invested time in writing you a note card. You cherish it. The same thing goes for any relationship. Even reaching out to people for a second to send them a text or a message means something to people. Okay, and that's the whole basis of this. So you need to go through and rank them. If you have 2,000 people, good for you. Spend 30 minutes, put on some soft jazz, get a nice glass of wine, whatever, your psychology, whatever you want, <laughs> and just bang through it, okay? Just do it once. Now you can change and edit grades and ranks as you go but just go through one time. I really encourage you guys to do that. Don't skip that step, okay? All right, so I'm gonna jump back, um, jump back to Teamsy again, now that I'm done banging that horse, okay. All right, so once they're all ranked, you're ready to go. Now this is the team page, just so you guys know, where you can see your entire list. Here's one more thing I wanna show you. Notice that when I put my, my mouse over here, I can scroll the page. When I put my mouse here, I can scroll the list. This is important because a lot of people think that there are only 20 people imported. They're all there, guys. Give it a second and it'll, it'll load a few more and then you keep going. Because you're scrolling over here, you're thinking it doesn't work. I'm just telling you guys that right now. So um, that's how you do it. All right, let's go back to the dashboard. Now we're ready to do a power hour. We spent the time setting it up, took 10 minutes to set up, maybe took 30 minutes to rank, okay? But here's the beautiful thing about that time investment. We never have to plan our power hour ever again. I'll just say that one more time so it can see again. You'll never have to plan your power hour ever again. How many of you have said, I need a power hour and I'm gonna schedule it, and then you get out and you finally get a quiet moment away from the kids and you're like, what do I do first? Who do I contact? And then you have this great sheet that your upline sent you and you're like, I need to talk to 10 people. Who should it be? Well, let me go through my Facebook messages and see who I message. I mean, you're all over the place. That was me too. This is going to help you attack your power hour with laser-like focus. Let me show you what, what's going on here. First, these are my goals for today. Remember, I wanted, my goal was 15, to connect with 15 prospects. I've already done 12, got three left. We'll do those together in a second. Connect with four of my customers, talk to one of my coaches, um, get some invites in, which I haven't got yet. Hopefully we'll get those going here this afternoon, this evening, and then add people to my list, which I've done. Okay, so let me show you how this worked. When you come in to do this, first of all, there's my why right there. Remind me why I'm doing it. I'm going to start with my prospects list. Always start with your prospects list, guys, because prospecting is the most important thing you can do. It's the most important thing you can do because you have to constantly be generating new leads, right? And we're going to go through and work all the leads that we have in a second. I'll show you how to get to follow-ups and everything and work with current customers and coaches. But you've got to be reaching out to prospects. Do that first, okay? So I'm going to look at who's up next. That's just, This is telling me who to connect with, okay, today. The next person on my list is Michael Zucker. So let's just go ahead and connect with him. I'm going to use Facebook Messenger. That's my primary favorite thing. I know it's the most popular um, thing being used by Teams users too, but whatever you use, text message, email, whatever. You can see here, look guys, people are responding to my messages I already sent earlier today. So we're gonna look up Michael Zucker. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him a message. Here he is right here. Uh, Any of you who have ever seen me present, you know that that's like the best typing I've ever done. I typed it all one time through without messing it up. Here's my message. Hi, Michael. It's been a while since I checked in with you. How are you? Hope your day was awesome. Ten. All right. Did I, did I sweat it too much? Did I read his entire Facebook page? Did I worry about the wording? No, I'm just saying hi. I'm just trying to start something. I'm just trying to say hello. So what I'm going to do, guys, I copied that so that I can paste it in Teamsy. Teamsy will not send, you see right here, Teamsy does not send Facebook messages or text messages. It doesn't send them, guys, because Facebook won't let anybody else send messages for them anymore. Just so you know, you have to actually use Facebook to send the message. But I'm going to log it in Teamsy because this Teamsy is where I organize my connections. All right, so there it is. I pasted it. That was a Facebook message, and now I'm going to log it. Now check this out. It's really cool. 
you notice that he left my list. He's gone. He disappeared off my list. And my circle moved. I've only got two left now. Okay, I'm getting closer to my goal. Now, he was a three, so Michael will come back on my list in 90 days unless he responds to me and we have a conversation, which is what I'm hoping will happen. But if, we, if he doesn't respond to me, he'll come back on my list in 90 days and I'll connect again. Each time I connect with him, we're engaging. Even if he doesn't respond, he's looking at my posts on Facebook. He's thinking about me for a moment. He's getting warmer. Okay, so the next person on my list is Jeff. Now, you can skip people, but come on, that's really just wimping out, right? Just send them a message. It's not like we're knocking on their door. All right, let's send Jeff a message. All right. So there's Jeff. I'm going to send him a message. Okay, let me close some of these. Oh, it's okay. It's just moving them. Okay, now check this out, guys. We're going to be efficient. I'm just going to paste that same message that I wrote to Michael. This is how you can bang out your power hour super fast. All right, make sure you put the right name on there. Boom. I just sent Jeff a message. Now check this out. I'm going to go back to Teams and log that one. Okay. I'll show you guys what will happen when they have a conversation with you in a second. I, got, I have one more. Let's just do one more so that I can get my 100% complete on my day. Then it's Boris. All right, so I'm going to do Boris. He used to be a professional tennis player. Really cool dude. Here he is. Boris. Oh, we're not friends. That's strange. Well, he's been getting my messages. So I'm going to send it again. All right. Let's just send it see what happens. Hey, Boris. All right. It's been a while since I checked in with you. How are you? Hope your day was awesome. Send. All right. So, guys, check this out. I just did... I just finished my power hour as soon as I log this. I'm reaching out. Now, in my case, I reach out to 20 people. So I did, I'm going to show you how to do customers and coaches, but I just got my You Crushed It 100% complete, reached out to 20 people. Now, before I show you customers and coaches, I just want you to see something. Look at my Facebook page. People are responding to my message, starting conversations with me, okay? Now, here's the cool thing. All we did was connect. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a great day. They're saying, I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks for reaching out. Great. That's perfect. Now, guess what? Now we have a chance to have an opportunity, uh, a chance, an opportunity to have a conversation, right? This is where all your training on how to form and how to uh, draw out of people what they're up to, catch up on their life, catch them up on your life, you know, besides maybe what they've just seen on Facebook, and find out what they need. Find out how you can help them. Guys, the goal here is to find a way to make their day. It might be through Beachbody. It might not, right? It might be that they're, they need to get fit. That'd be great. That'll turn into an invite. I'll show you how to do that. It might just be that they need a friend. They need prayer. That they need encouragement. Whatever. Your goal is to make their day. Look for opportunities to help them. And when that opportunity involves uh, the business opportunity or involves fitness or nutrition or health, then you can use your business to solve that problem. But in general, all you're looking to do is connect with people, connect with people, connect with people, spread love, help, 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 okay? And you will see amazing results in your business. Okay, so we've finished our prospects. Now we're gonna toggle over to the next list, which is customers. These are your existing customers. You gotta stay in touch with your customers, okay? Check in on them, see how they're doing. How's your, are you still drinking your Shakeology? How are your workouts coming? Let them know about your next challenge group. Let them know about uh, new programs that are being released, new Shakeology flavors, right? You got to let them know one-on-one -on -one because when you just send blast emails or just post in Facebook groups, guys, it's not personal. It's not personal. People respond to one-on-one. -on -one. And when you don't talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, there's a really, there is a communication vacuum happening. That's when you see people canceling their Shakeology and whatever, you know, um, they're, they're at Costco and they see they've got organic whey protein and they think, well, that's probably the same thing in Shakeology, right? Might as well get that. And the next thing you know, they've canceled. Got to stay in touch with people. Help them stay on their health journey. But here's the other piece of the puzzle, guys. I don't have a lot of time to go into this, but I'm just going to let you guys know the hottest source for a new lead is your current customer. The hottest source of a new lead is your current customer. Hold on, I'm just going to talk to you about this for a second because think about this. 
these people are in your groups right now and they're excited. They're drinking their Shakeology. They're watching inches disappear from their waist. They're feeling alive and vibrant and energetic, right? Those depressing feelings that they were getting from bad nutrition is going away. They're walking around the office kitchen making Shakeology while everyone else is crushing the Friday donuts, right? They're, they've got their annoying little containers with their beautiful food in it that they're eating in front of people. People are asking them, what are you doing? They're talking about it. But the question is, why aren't all the people they're talking about your customers already? One, you're probably not staying in consistent contact with your customers. And the second thing is, is you gotta be, you have to be talking to your customers and asking them to introduce you to those people. So you gotta be introducing those to those people. Okay, let's jump back over. All right, so once you've connected with your customers, now you're gonna connect with your coaches, okay? You just go, on, just go in the order of the tabs, guys. It's really easy. This is how you do your power. So go through, connect with the next coach. This is a great opportunity to acknowledge and recognize, do recognition with your coaches. I know that you guys are on a weekly call with your coaches. I know that you're in five different Facebook groups with them, but it means the world to hear from you one-on-one. -on -one. Just check in on them. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Is there anything I can do to make your day today? Okay, this platform is called Team Z because it's about building your team. People ask me all the time, well, what about coaches that aren't on my downline? Should I just delete them? Here's my philosophy on that, guys. The more love you can spread, the more everyone wins, right? You hand it out in slices, it comes back to you in love. Do you have coaches that aren't on your team that are your success partners that help you um, brainstorm up new ideas that support you on your journey or need your support? Yeah, do you have coaches that are mentors? That you want to stay in touch with and have a relationship with? Sure. So you can keep those people on there. It's not going to hurt your business to have more relationships. Okay. The last piece here. So we got prospects, customers, coaches. The last tab. This is where the, the rubber hits the road. This is the follow-ups tab, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. Now, this these are the people who I have follow-up scheduled with. Let me explain to you guys how this works. So we've been reaching out to our prospects. We've been reaching out to our customers. We've been reaching out to our coaches. We've been trying to start conversations with them, okay? Identifying needs, identifying places we can help. Now what happens is when they respond back, so you can see here people are responding. So let me just take somebody as an example. Um, so my friend Lauren has responded. We started having a conversation and we're talking about starting 21 Day Fix. Okay, you didn't have to read that. Just trust me, that's what's happening. So what'll happen is I can look her up now So I can look up Lauren, okay, and we can see on the activity feed my first connect from this from today at three o'clock. Um, hi Lauren, it's been a while since I checked in with you. How are you? I hope your day was an awesome one. Hey, does that sound familiar? That's because I didn't really get too creative today. I gave everybody the same message. Okay, great. So that turned into a conversation. So what I will do first is I will copy the whole conversation from Facebook. I'll click edit and I'll paste it in there, okay? Just to have it in the record. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna invite Lauren to join my challenge group, okay? So now I'm gonna do a new connect where I'm gonna send her um, 21 day fix invite, okay? So I'm gonna do it via email and I'm gonna send her the invite, okay? And you see that there's three types of invites, free group, challenge group, business opportunity. This would be a challenge group invite. Okay, and but before I log this, guys, this is important. I need to set follow up. I need to set follow up because otherwise she's not going to be on my list for three months. Okay, but now that this is, has turned to a conversation and we've moved towards an invite, now I'm going to set a follow up for tomorrow. Okay, now while I'm showing you how the follow ups work, guys, I'm going to give you some tips on how to follow up without being a total nag on people because you need to know that 80% of all sales happen between the 7th and the 10th follow-up. So how many people feel comfortable following up 10 times with people without feeling like a nag? But the thing is, is you can do it. You should do it. because That's when most sales happen. And people are flaky. People are busy. People, they want to do this, but they don't really want to change their habits. They're ingrained. So they need a coach to hold them accountable to that decision. When they told you they were interested, it's your job to hold them accountable to that decision. So here's what I'll do. When I send this message to Lauren, 
I will message her and say, hey, Lauren, I just sent the email with all the, with your invitation and all the info you need for the group. I'll check in with you tomorrow and see if you have any questions. That's it, okay? So now when I log this, I set my follow-up for tomorrow. Now she's on my follow-up list for tomorrow. I don't even have to worry about a thing. So when I'm on my dashboard and I'm working my prospects, customers, coaches, and I get to my follow-ups, there she is. She's on my follow-up list already for tomorrow. I don't have to worry about it. So when I'm doing my power hour, I come through and I do my follow-ups. Now notice these guys are yellow. That means they're not due today. <laughs> they're red when they're due today, okay? And they're green when I have more than one day. So yellow means they're due tomorrow. So all of these are on tomorrow's list. As I come through and follow up, when I go to follow up with Lauren tomorrow, here is the dialogue I'm going to say. Now, guys, this first follow-up is key because it sets a tone that allows you to continue following up time and time again without being an ad. You gotta set that first tone. So here is the dialogue, it's very simple, okay? I'm gonna say, obviously I'm not actually sending these right now, this is an example. I would send these messages through Facebook and then log in there, okay? But I would say, hey Lauren, just checking in like I promised I would. Okay, those are the magic words right there, guys. Real simple magic. Hi, Lauren. Just checking in like I promised I would. Do you have any questions? Okay. Now, a couple things I did here. One, I told her I would check in tomorrow and see if she had questions. So I'm doing it. I'm fulfilling my word. I just put a little deposit in her trust bank. But not only that, I'm actually using the words to kind of remarket to her that I just put a deposit in her trust bank. So I'm telling her I'm checking in like I promised I would, even though she already felt emotionally that I was fulfilling my promise, I'm actually reminding her that it was a promise. It wasn't just some flaky thing like, hey, I'll check in with you. I'm promising that I will check in. And now I'm, I'm also asking her, does she have any questions? Because that's what I told her I would do. Okay, short little phrase, checking in like I promised I would, do you have any questions? Great, so now what I'm gonna do, when I log this one, I'm gonna set my follow-up again for tomorrow. Okay, every time set the next follow-up. If you don't set a follow-up, she'll disappear off the list. Set the next follow-up. This way she'll never fall through the cracks. So now I check in, I log that one, I set the next follow-up, okay? The next day I'm gonna come back again, I'm gonna follow up again. Hey Lauren, just checking in again. Chances are she didn't respond last, to that last one, right? You guys have been through this. You send it, they're all excited. Yeah, I wanna do this, I can't wait. And then they don't respond. They're busy, don't, don't hold it against them. That doesn't mean they're not interested. They're just busy. They need you to help them get themselves out of the way of their goals. That's what coaches do. So now I'm gonna follow up again. Every time I follow up, I'm gonna set the next follow up, right? I do three days in a row, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And then I back them off to two days at a time. Okay, depending on when my challenge group is, will depend on how intense I get because I wanna get her in, in time for the challenge group. She misses the challenge group, then I might move those off to every week where I'm following up. But I'm gonna to get to 10 follow-ups within the first two months, okay? I'm gonna be connecting with her, checking in with her. Use your emoticons. Here's the thing, you're worried that you're, that you're um, nagging people. Use your emoticons. Hey, it's me, just checking in, smiley face. How can I help you today? Wanna to help you strong, you know, the bicep, whatever. Have fun with these guys. They don't have to be long follow-ups either just connecting with people. They know what you're following up on. And you need to let them know, every time you follow up, you wanna communicate these. This is a service to you. This is me caring about you. This is me being your coach. This is me being a friend, holding you accountable to the goals you told me you wanted to do, helping you do what's too hard for you to do by yourself. Does that make sense? So that's the tone you want on your follow-ups. And the beautiful thing about this follow-up list, guys, nobody will ever fall through the cracks. Now, one last thing I wanna show you about the follow-up list, when you do your power hour, prospects, customers, coaches, follow-ups, you're at like 30 minutes in and you've done so much. Now the rest of the day, you can answer and have conversations with people. How cool is that, right? So on your phone, whatever you're getting messages, you're having conversations with people. You can go, you can see your whole follow-up list if you wanna see more than just these few. Go to team and see where it says follow-ups, click upcoming, and you can see your entire follow-up list, okay? So you can see everybody on your follow-up list, and you can work the list from here too, if you want to. Okay, so that is how you do a power hour. That's it, it's really that easy. 
once you get your people in here and you get them ranked, guys, you just come through and you connect. Set your goal. It'll tell you how many people to connect with and connect with them. And then keep an eye on your conversations as they happen. Look for opportunities to connect with people, to identify needs. If you don't know how to form and all of that, all of that training is on the online office, guys. Go get that or ask your client for those trainings on how to have um, impactful and meaningful conversations with people. But what Teams will do is it will tell you who to talk to and it'll help you get those conversations started every day. If you consistently, pro if you consistently reach out and connect with people in a proactive way on a daily basis, your pipeline will always be full. Will always be full. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start answering questions because I did what I said I would do. I told you how to do a power hour and how to do your follow-ups. So let me now take a look here um, at the Q&A. So this is a great time to write in questions, guys, if you have them. Leanne asks, once we import our contacts from Facebook, will they automatically update when we add new people? Man, that would be so cool, Leanne, if we could do that. Unfortunately, no. Facebook does not allow any app to, inter to, to um, interact with it anymore. Um, they're trying to take over the world, which it could be scary, but I kind of love Facebook, so it's all cool. But it won't, so it won't automatically update. You need to be adding people in, okay? So, but let me show you a couple things. One, yes, you can import your whole list again at another time, but that's kind of not that fun to do. Facebook doesn't make it super easy to get your list. What I recommend you do is just use this button right here, this add contact button, okay? So when you put people in here, it only takes a second. See how fast this is, Leanne? I just added you to my list. I can send a follow-up for you tomorrow to connect with you, and you're in my list. Done. So if I had to, if I had to add 10 people from Facebook right now, it would take me 15 seconds, okay? So that's the best way to do it. Now, you can also import another list by coming here to import. I'm on the team page, import, import contacts. Okay, that's how you get to your import page. Okay, guys? All right, so there's the first one. Boom, we're gonna answer that one. Thank you for that question. Erica asks, hi, hi Erica. As you add people on Facebook, does Teams automatically upload them or do I have to, oh, that's the same answer, cool. You got two birds, one stone on that one. Shannon asks, once you send your connect message and they respond back, do you put those messages in the log also? I think I answered that, but you know what? I'm gonna show it to you again. So, um, so we had Lauren, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that conversation with Lauren that we had today. And here's the rest of the conversation, right? Okay, so I'm going to copy that. So this is how I do it, guys. You can write it in if you want, but I just copy it. So I'm going to go back to activity feed on Lauren's thing. There's my original connect. I'm going to edit it. And I just paste it right in here, okay? So it's there. That's how I do it. Every once in a while, I'll go in and I'll just update them so they're all in there. Okay? So that'll answer that question. Okay, hold on. I lost my quiet answer. Okay, great. Cindy asks, can we search somebody by email address or only name? Right now, it's only name, Cindy. Only name. However, um, I know that it's on the development list to make uh, an advanced search. Okay? So that's... Coming. Well, I'm pretty sure it's only name. Let me try something. Yeah, it's only name. Okay. You never know with these guys. They do stuff all the time without telling me. All right. Christy asks, is there a way to go back to yesterday to check out personal development workout shake? If I did it yesterday, but forgot to check it out. That's on the daily. Um, this is coming next week, I believe. So you'll be able to go back and edit your dailies. Um, we just did a we just did an improvement to the dashboard this week, which added a whole bunch of cool functions. I know most of you guys are new, so you didn't you didn't miss it. But things like being able to rank right here and delete right here, um, things like being able to set a follow up with a custom date, those are all new. And so you'll have the ability to go back and edit the date for your daily posts. So that's coming. Okay. Um, let me answer that one. Cindy asks, there is four, who's up next, but three circles. For me, follow-ups is so important. Please, 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 is it possible to add a yellow circle? 
a follow-up circle with a number to follow up so that I have to do that day, then Teams would be perfect. Okay, well, that's a great suggestion. I'll definitely let the guys know. I think the reason why um, follow-ups doesn't have a circle is because it's hard to set a goal for follow-ups because they happen based on the conversations you're having, right? So if you're having, if you're connecting with your prospects, your customers, and your coaches, and you're focused on, on leading to invites and ads and all of that, then you're going to create follow-ups. I think that's why, but they are tracked right up here, but I know you want to circle. Okay. And we'll definitely let the guys know that. Okay. April asks, can you import Instagram or LinkedIn contacts? Okay. That's a great question. Uh, I don't, I don't know if Instagram doesn't export. I don't know if anybody knows that. Um, but, uh, you can definitely, I, I know that a lot of people will um, just add the Instagram people as they come through add contact. You can also create a spreadsheet, import that. Um, and the LinkedIn export, I haven't seen, um, haven't seen how the data comes out, but I think, it, I think LinkedIn exports as a CSV file. So you'd be able to import that for sure. Okay, Leanne says, uh, no, I already answered that one, sorry. I'm sorry, I came in late. This is Tracy. So you might have gone over this already. How do you input your ongoing convos and needed follow-ups when you first start using Teams? Okay, so that's a great question. So you could look people up, right? So if I wanted to look up, um, anyone, I just pick somebody. If I wanted to look somebody up and enter in the con conversations, I could enter a connect and, and paste in like a long conversation stream if you want to. Personally, I wouldn't spend time doing that because I feel like it's more important to spend time connecting with people than going back. However, you can come into someone's record and set a follow-up. So if you already have a follow-up list going on paper or whatever, and now you're starting to use Teamsy, what I would do is I would come in now and I would create your follow-up list from by looking people up and setting your follow-up, okay? So that they're on your follow-up list. I personally wouldn't go in and enter in all the conversations just because I would just go forward, but that's just me. Okay, Sherry asks, can you please show us how to do the final part of the dashboard? Yours says five people ads. Are you getting them down to zero with clicking ad? Okay, great question. All right, so let me go back to the dashboard to show you guys this. I click it. I think my thing's in the way. I'm going to stop my share for a second. Go back because I think Zoom's messing up my feet. Okay. All right. Here we are back on the dashboard. What she was asking about was this How do we get the invites in and the ads? Okay. So I showed you guys how to do an invite at one point. Share, you might not have been here when I did it. Basically, if you're having a conversation with somebody, in my example, it was Lauren. So I connected with her earlier. Hold well, on, I'm having internet issues with me right now, guys. Let me refresh this, yeah. Let me refresh my page. Sometimes when you're on a webinar with lots of people, the internet doesn't work right. There she is. All right, so I was talking to Lauren and then what we did was we created a, an invite. So when you log a connect, that's actually an invite, not just a, hey, how you doing? You click this little box right here. Okay, so you click this little box and then you select what type of invite that is. And that will log it as an invite. Okay, and when you do that, it will, it will show up here on this circle. Okay, now an ad is a new person to your, to your list. So you add people like this and they're gonna show up. So every time you add somebody to your list, so people that you're meeting on social media or whatever, when you get uh, new people from Beachbody, the free free customers, you add those in, those are ads. Okay. Oh, this is great. You guys are getting some great questions. Let me answer that one. That was done. Kristen says, can you talk more about the promote tab? Okay. So the promote tab, guys, is right here. Okay. And this... This page, just so you guys know, is undergoing a major overhaul right now. Um, but some of, the, some of the features are here already, which are pretty cool. One of the things that you can do on this page is you can save templates, right? So Teamsy, these are some templates that Teamsy put in. Um, you've got emails, messages, dialogues. Then there's my templates. These are the ones that you guys can create and save. 
right? So it might be like a welcome email from your new coach, right? And then there's the community ones. This part is super cool because you guys can actually share your favorite templates to the community. So you can see some coaches have already done this and you can see, and then other coaches have liked it. So over time, as thousands and thousands of coaches come onto Teensy, you'll be able to search here, hey, I need a great template for whatever, 21 day fix invite. And you can see the ones that are the most popular in the community and you can then use it. So let's say we wanted to do this 21 day fix cheat sheet by Caroline R. So now what I would do is I come down here and I hit prepare to send and, and it's an email okay, that she's written. So I'm, I could actually edit this and use it or I could just send it to somebody. Okay, and the way you send an email to somebody is you just look them up. So let's say it was my friend Lauren and I would send it. Now, just so you guys know, in order to send emails from here, you have to, have, you have to integrate it with your Gmail account, okay? But that's pretty cool, so that's how you do it. Now, if you wanted to um, actually just do create a template, what you would do is you'd come down here and instead of email, you change it to, well, it could be an email template, whatever it is. And once you've got it down, you save it as template, it'll become a template. But you have to make sure you have a subject line and a title, guys. Make sure you have a title. If you don't have a title, then you won't be able to open it again. Or maybe it's a message. Maybe it's just a script that you use when you message people, you can save it here too, okay? Eventually, down the road, this is gonna be a full email marketing suite, the promote page. So that's coming in the next couple of months. Um, you guys will be able to do bulk emails and all that kind of cool stuff. Okay, so let me get back to the dashboard, check the questions out. Um, good. Laura says, if you import your list again, does it override your current list or, is it, or does it duplicate contacts? It doesn't do either one of those things. So, it's a great question though, Laura, because this was an issue in the beginning. It did create duplicates. And it was one of the most requested uh, feature improvements, and it was recently improved about three weeks ago. When you import your list again, it will not import people who are already in Teams. So if you've got, let's say you do your Facebook list twice and you, you've added 200 new people, it's going to look at your Facebook list, and everybody who already is in Teams, it's not going to import. So it doesn't override them. It just ignores the ones that you already have. Okay, so it won't create duplicates. Now, if their name is spelled a little bit differently or whatever, then it will import them because it'll think of somebody else, okay? All right. I know a few of you guys just gave me a high five on that one. Okay, Cindy's asking, how do you work with groups? This is really cool. Now, guys, I'm gonna show you how to work with groups, but I also want you to know there's an improvement coming with groups probably in the next three weeks. Don't quote me on that, but that's what they told me. That's going to change this a bit and make it way easier to use. But I'm going to go to my team page so you can see how groups work. See, the groups are here that I've created. And you can create a new group by whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. Right? You create a new group. And now it's in your list. So I've got groups. Like, I've got a group Instagram lead. So let's just say, for example, that was lean here is somebody that I want to add to my um, webinar attendee group that we just made. So when I'm here on her um, record, sorry, I couldn't think of that word. See right here it says groups, add to group. I just click here and I just add her to group. Okay, so now she's in that group. Let's say she's also in my, um, she's a runner and she's also in the challenge group. You enter as many groups as you want. Now the cool thing about this is this is gonna change from groups to tags in the next few weeks. So you'll just write tags. You can tag anything. You can tag that she's a Shakeology Home Direct. You could tag that she's uh, done 21 Day Fix, that she's done Hammer and Chisel. You can tag all these things. Every tag will create a group. So um, as you tag people up, they'll, they'll have a tag cloud. Those will be all the groups. You'll be able to grab those groups and work with the group. So it's gonna be really awesome. Groups are a great way to work with a specific project. Like if you're pulling leads from Instagram and you want to work those leads separately from your dashboard for a while before you put them into the regular team team flow, that's a great way to do it, if that makes sense. Okay. I could probably do a whole training on groups. Hopefully that's enough for you guys to get started. Shannon says, when you're working with your prospects, you were just clicking names from that prospect tab on the left. When you have all your prospects completed for the day, 
are the names that are still in that box, like Nicole Dune, for example, going to be your names to connect with the next day? Yes, Shannon, absolutely. Absolutely. It's always full. The reason why that box is always full is, let's say I'm just feeling nutty and I want to connect with 100 people today. I could if I wanted to. Okay. All right. Austin says, can you touch on the groups tab quick and explain the main event? That's, I think I just did that one. Perfect. Sherry says, perfect. Thank you. Okay, good, Sherry. I'm glad. Brittany says, sorry if I already missed the answer to this. What if you miss a connect or invite one day? Can those be rolled over to the next day? There, your, your list is kind of goes back to um, the question we answered a couple questions ago. Your list is always there. If you miss, if you don't connect with somebody, they're still on your list. Okay, it's not... They don't have a date assigned to them. It's just the next person you're supposed to connect with is at the top of your list, whether you do it today or tomorrow. Okay. Erica says, would you need Lauren's email address in order to send her an email? Yes, absolutely. So if she's a Facebook friend only, what I would ask for is, what's your email address so I can send you the invitation to the group? Okay. For me also, them giving me their email address is showing me their interest level. Uh, we call it, you know, uh, some of you know that I come from uh, the real estate training industry where I've been a real estate trainer and coach for 15 years. We call it measuring the mo, right? Measuring the motivation. Yeah, I'm interested. So one of the ways we measure the mo is getting them to commit to some more contact info. Send me your email address and I'll send you more information. Okay. If they won't send me their email address, they're very unlikely to join the challenge group by challenge back, right? Christy says, will Teams be integrating with other email platforms such as Yahoo? Um, probably, I'll be honest with you, not in the near future, Christy. The reason why Gmail is the one that the guys chose is A, it's the most used platform of any by a factor of like 400%. And uh, Google plays nice with everybody. They have an open API and they allow people to integrate with them. So that's the answer to that, sorry. But you can get a, a Gmail a email address super easy, free. Okay. Christy says, different Christy. I just want to say I've been using Teams Z for eight days now and I'm freaking in love. What in love with you too? I love the mobile access and the way everything is tracked overall. I've tried Google Docs, notebooks, spreadsheets, etc. So far, this is amazing, and I can't wait to see where to go from here. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. And uh, any more, any other people want to ask a question like that, go ahead and write that in. <laughs> okay, so Cindy is back and says, eventually, will you add options in the coach section? First CBC, second CBC, uh, so I can know where he is in the COO, or should I create groups? Cindy, that is a great question, and it is on the list to add those. Um, I can't tell you exactly when. There's a good list already that they're working through, but I know that that is on there. Okay. Um, creating a group right now is probably a great way to, to handle that for now, though. Okay. Laura says, where or how do you integrate your Gmail account to use an email? Okay, that's a great question. Okay, a couple places. The first time you come into the promote page, um, you'll see it down here. It'll say, hey, connect your Gmail, but I've already done it. The other place you can do it is over here in the settings, this little wheel here. Go to your settings and um, integrations right there. And you can see I've already got my Gmail connected. But right there, if you haven't got it connected, there'll be a little button to connect your Gmail account. Okay. Shannon says, what does the email look like that they're getting when you're sending an invite? So it's your, it is a Gmail, it's a Gmail email. It's not sent by us. It's actually sent through your Gmail. What Teamsy does is it loads it up to your Gmail and your Gmail sends it. Um, right now, Teamsy has a very simple, uh, what is this thing called? The, um, an editor, simple editor. Look, it doesn't let you do pretty colors and fonts yet but I know that they're plugging one in pretty soon. So they're real basic text emails right now. Um, they're not doing images or anything like that from Teams. You'd have to set those somewhere else if you wanted to do that. Um, well, I guess she's asking when I send an invite. So I send a simple text email with links 
Um, ordering links, informational links, and video links. That's what I said. Okay. Kristen says, we chatted on the cruise. Yes, we did. Has Carl checked this out yet? Yeah, sure hope so. This is amazing. It's a no-brainer way to keep in touch with people. I don't know if Carl has checked this out yet. I'm sure that he will let me know when he's interested. <laughs> Myra says, Yahoo emails can be rerouted to a Gmail account. So there's your answer. Erica says, will there be an app? I think, yes, eventually there will be an app, guys. Um, but before you, before you want to invest in a mobile app, we want to finish getting all the features that, that coaches are asking for in the main web application, and then we'll build a mobile app to fit. But just to answer that question for people who may not know, there is a mobile website which will function like an app on your mobile phone, so you can use this mobile. Um, what you want to do is go to your internet browser on your phone, right? If you have an iPhone, that's Safari, um, and type in app app.teensy.com and that'll get you away from the public page and get you right into Teensy and then save that to your desktop like an app icon so you can get in there all the time. Okay, wait a second. Angela says, I absolutely love Teensy. I tell everyone about it. So completely changed my business. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Kristen says, will there be an option for more email providers to connect in the future? Most likely. You like that non-specific positive answer? Okay. Shannon says, do you use one of those templates that you showed earlier? So you use one of those templates that you showed earlier and it sends it for you from your Gmail account. Yes. Now the, the one benefit of sending it through Z, Shannon, is that it will automatically log the email in your, on, on that person's record. Okay. Um, Christy says, the mobile access is pretty awesome. Feels like an app when you're there. Thank you, Christy, that's the idea. Sherry has it on her home screen. Good. Hey, I'm on the last question, guys. All right, Teams is amazing. I have great support from Barry and all your video. Um, thank you, all your videos, thank you. I'm from Quebec, so I'll explain Teamsy in French to my coaches, thank you, Cindy. And, and it has been requested that Teamsy be translated to French. And the answer that I got back from the Teamsy team is they're happy to do it when they get a lot more people in Quebec using it. Um, so you can send that back to them. Of course, we'll probably hit you guys up to translate. Okay, awesome. Well, guys, perfect timing. We're at an hour mark, got all the questions answered. It was an absolute pleasure uh, presenting to you guys. I hope that was really helpful to you. Um, we're gonna be holding these for new, for new people coming on board every couple of weeks to show, kind of show people the basics. Uh, so make sure that as your team joins and gets in the free trials of Teamsy that they're picking up on these webinars and getting the training they need to get going. Um, I just really encourage you guys to use this. You know, you get it free for 30 days. Go use the you know what out of it. Make people stay. See how many people you can connect with. And see what an amazing, just an amazing way it is to build your business, to be literally making a couple dozen people stay every day and watching your business grow at the same time. It's so much fun. So thank you guys again for being here. We will put this recording up on Facebook again um, tomorrow, maybe tonight, we'll see, um, depending on how long it takes to render. But thank you guys for coming. We appreciate you. We're excited that you're part of the Teensy family. And uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep making people's lives. Talk to you soon.